Meanwhile, as most Americans were sleeping, an extraordinary moment in history was playing out in the dark of night. With no fanfare, telling only a small group of reporters, President Obama left the White House just before midnight and boarded Marine One. After a 40-minute flight, he landed at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware. A C-17 transport plane had just arrived there, burying the remains of 18 Americans killed this week in Afghanistan. After meeting privately with their families, the president and other dignitaries boarded the plane to welcome the fallen heroes home and join a chaplain in a brief prayer. Then the president and his group left the plane and stood at attention, saluting as the flag-draped transfer cases were removed, the solemnity of the moment clearly visible on the face of the commander-in-chief. This is the first time a president has participated in what is officially called a dignified transfer since the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan began. President George W. Bush said he preferred to meet with grieving families in private. Media coverage of returning remains was banned during his father's administration after some networks showed a split-screen image of President George H.W. Bush bantering with reporters as the bodies of U.S. soldiers killed in Panama were arriving home. Caskets were a familiar scene on TV news during Vietnam, bringing into American living rooms the true cost of war. This year, under President Obama, the ban was lifted, but the family of the fallen must approve. The parents of 29-year-old Army Sergeant Dale Griffin of Terre Haute, Indiana, gave their permission for us to see his return today. Five hours after he left the White House and still long before sunrise, the president returned. He later reflected on the experience, saying it was a sobering reminder of the sacrifices of America's men and women in uniform. The burden that both our troops and our families bear uh, in any wartime situation is going to bear on how I see these conflicts. It is something that I think about each and every day. As he decides whether to send thousands more troops off to war.